uh, we're working on a breaking story uh, at Infowars.com that is hiding in plain view at the Justice Department uh, and their own website. And so later in the transmission, uh, we will premiere a special report and a news article um, that when they came to me yesterday, they said, hey, we just want to run this report by you before we put it on air. And I said, well, why? I, I usually, you know, uh, don't do the editorial reviewing around here. Uh, you know, fact checking. We have other crew that do that. And they said, well, this is, you know, you know, this is talking about how they want to, uh, the Justice Department is saying don't use the words husband or wife because it's offensive if you work in the federal government. And, uh, you know, is it too extreme to point out they're doing this? And I said, absolutely. We're so politically correct. You know, uh, we think uh, men are bad, women are bad, uh, and heterosexuals are evil. And so we're not going to air this report. Of course, I'm being sarcastic. Uh, I said the report isn't hardcore enough. I was reading this Justice Department manual, and it basically says the words husband and wife are hate speech. Uh, you know, it's it's hurtful, and so don't use it. And, and what is hate speech? Something that's hurtful. And, of course, I am the king of hate speech, uh, as you know. And, and, you know, I'm really offended by this because I personally don't dislike people for what color they are or wh who they're attracted to, um, and you know, unless they're attracted to children. And, and, of course, that's the government is always attracted to children uh, to, to make them slaves of the system or to abuse them. Uh, every authoritarian system has been uh, attracted to them. And now the state says it's it's the parents, and that's happening worldwide. So it's very offensive on that front. And it is an attack on the human institution itself. The state wants to create a brave new world where parenthood is ended for the general public. And they're setting up an economy, basically, where your child's going to be in a government training center, you know, 16, 17, 18 hours a day, 12 months out of the year. Uh, parents are there just to reproduce for now, to produce more minions for the state, but you know, humans really aren't needed anymore because of the computers and robots. So that's what's really happening here. It's not about equality. It's not about uh, it's not about uh, you know being nice to people. Uh, it's about a, a a globalist dehumanization population reduction program where four percent of the population that's reportedly gay or lesbian is used as a pawn and a set piece for an anti-human eugenics agenda. And let me tell you, they're telling people, uh, by the way, if you, think, if you think we're joking, this report's coming to be posted on Infowars.com in about an hour. We'll play the report coming up in the next hour. Uh, and France set to ban the words mother and father from official documents. That was the London Telegraph. Remember that a few months ago? And we found in England where they're doing the same thing. This is a global program, but federal employees, this is on the DOJ website, uh, and our tipster sent it to us. No, no one's picked this up. Um, it, it turns out for a, a, about a year they've been saying, you are to tell everybody that works for the federal government not to say I'm going to pick my husband up or I'm going to pick my wife up. Those are hate words. <laughs> See, this is how this works, folks. It's a system where anything, you know, see, see, being, quote, normal is now abnormal. And then you're not allowed to be a parent. You're not allowed as a man to be attracted to a woman. You're not, because that creates children. You're not allowed to do that as a woman to be attracted to a man. You will. I mean, that's why the children's shows all teach the kids. Uh, they teach five-year-olds how to masturbate in public schools. I had tried everything. I'd cut back the amount of food I was eating. I was lifting weights and jogging, but nothing was working. My body was literally starving for minerals and trace elements as well as key vitamins. And as soon as I had that, I immediately could eat half of what I was eating previously and be satisfied. Now, there are hundreds of great products at InfoWarsTeam.com, but I want to point out the three that have helped me lose 37 pounds in just two months. Products like Beyond Tangy Tangerine, Pollen Burst, and Rebound. When I started taking the Tangy Tangerine and other products every day, I lost more than 37 pounds in just two months. Now that's results. I want to challenge my listeners to go to InfoWarsTeam.com and to order just three of their products, and you will see the changes in the way you look, feel, and in your appetite almost immediately. Start your journey to health and wellness today. InfoWarsTeam.com. 
I was looking at headlines on Infowars.com, PrisonPlanet.com, DrudgeReport.com, and they just make my head spin. Uh, coming up, I'm going to get into uh, this report that came out at the end of the broadcast yesterday. Police impose security lockdown for Bilderberg 2013. And they are saying that basically all around the entire multi-thousand acre compound that was a former royal palace that's a luxury hotel that no pedestrians are allowed and that people that live in the area must show IDs to be able to walk down the street. So it's North Korean martial law. And uh, they're saying there'll be a small area inside the grounds where you'll be allowed to uh, be at and that this is a great luxury. And then you have to have a permit to be able to have a event in the uh, town and, and rural area of Watford, northwest of London, uh, because it's such a free country, and those permits are being denied. Well, let me tell you what's happening. David Icke's put out a statement. Whether you love David Icke or hate him, he's a very interesting guy, and you know, he can get six, 7,000 people out to see him in London. I can get six or 7,000 people out uh, as well uh, in any major city uh, in the Western world. And we, we've not really promoted it. I've not really promoted it because a group was trying to set up an event. I said, I'm going to be there as press covering this. There'll be demonstrators there. But I'm coming to try to document which globalists are going in. And the fact that Bilderberg Group, that they've said for 50 years or more, didn't exist. And if you talked about it, you were insane. And the New York Times has said it doesn't exist. And I'm insane. And Nightline has said it doesn't exist. And I'm insane. And there's no global government. There's no mega bankers. And there's no global price fixing or stock market manipulation. Uh, and there's no interest rate fixing. All of that's now come out. And there's no NSA spying, all of that's come out. And there's no secret arrest or government hit squads, all of that's come out. And there's no government drug dealing, and all of that's come out. It's basically all come out. And then I want to go cover it, and I've got different police agencies emailing us, calling us, uh, you know, asking what we're planning to do. They all know full well. And if anybody stirs up trouble, it's them. And, and, and the mayor of Watford, this woman, is, is in the news going, I just want to say I'm honored Bilderberg has chosen us that we are, you know, uh, 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 fancy enough, uh, you know, prestigious enough was the word. And I just think it's terrible there's going to be media and protesters, and I think they'll be violent. She said that three weeks ago, prejudicing everybody. And if they have to provocateur something, they will. So great. Regardless, you know, they claim they're going to let me into England, all this other stuff. Regardless of what they do, it doesn't matter. I want everybody in the UK and in the British Isles to get to Watford all next week through the weekend and to cover this event and to exercise your Magna Carta rights paid for in blood against the criminal Bilderberg group. They've, their members have been indicted for war crimes. They've been arrested for war crimes. Lockheed Martin bid rigging, ripping off taxpayers. I mean, this is a criminal horde that they said didn't exist with British royalty and Dutch royalty and all these people sneaking in and Secret Service driving by five years ago in Virginia and aiming MP5s at us. I was talking to an Esquire writer and he goes, well, you were protesting. They wanted to let you know that they were going to protect themselves. If I pointed a gun at them, I would have been arrested, folks. But the Esquire writer, you know, he's like, Alex, you know, they needed to point the gun at you. You know, they needed to point the gun at you to let you know. That's right. I'm a, I mean, I'm a commoner. I mean, you know, drive by, point a, you know, Secret Service, I'm there bullhorning them. How about we just lift up and show me an MP5 like I'm going to soil myself and fall down on the ground? In fact, I didn't even want to go to England, but listeners and my wife and so many others said, you got to go. Jim Tucker just died. You got to go. Uh, it's important. You know, you've exposed it. We forced it out in the open. You got to go. And I said, okay, I thought I would just send reporters. And now I really want to go. So I'm going to talk about this at the bottom of the hour. But, I mean, it is your duty if you live in the U.K. to go to Watford. It is your duty if you live in France or Deutschland uh, or the Netherlands uh, or anywhere in Western Europe. And you can just fly over for, you know, 50, 100 euros, depending on where you're at. You can go under the channel. You can drive in. It is your duty now to go to Bilderberg 2013. And they're, they're erecting a steel fence around 
just thousands and thousands and th you, you can go to the maps the police have released thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands it looks like miles of of uh, of steel barricades for a group that doesn't matter and we've had national british tv respond to us and go we're not sending reporters because this isn't important yeah it, 150 royals and and billionaires and the head of google and and the head of facebook and all these people meeting in secret with prime ministers and presidents we stayed in the hotel now they make you get out like a day and a half before but we stayed in that you know, they kick you out at noon people start arriving three or four we stayed in the hotel and videotaped the president of spain arriving before they bang on the door and threw us out five years ago and he gets out of the limousine and they play the spanish national anthem and he goes in and then you know, they, then we drive out of the parking lot. And they got guys in black sedans following us and green sedans following us. And I pull in a parking lot, get out. The guys have shaved head sunglasses. I go over to them. They, they drive off scared like I'm supposed to be scared of you. Like I did something wrong. I don't ship in the opium. I don't load the three-year-old kids on the C-130s in the Balkans to be flown into Russia or Italy to, to, to be raped and then snuff filmed. I'm not working for the people that do all that. I have nothing to worry about. I'm not scared of you. Torture me. Set me up. They just killed Malcolm X's grandson down in Mexico. You know, now it's mainstream news that they shot this guy multiple times who was a witness to the fact that these guys were patsies. Two of the FBI guys investigating it, they fell out of a helicopter. They're killing everybody, just like Pat Tillman, just like 30-something of SEAL Team 6, 23 in a helicopter, then like five more, three more, two more. They're going to kill everybody in SEAL Team 6. What, you just think you guys are the only ones out killing people? You're totally expendable. In fact, they want you dead after you've served them. You are an obsolete weapon system to be spiked like a cannon, to be leaded like a barrel. There is no honor amongst these New World Order scumbags. viewers have demanded it so now you're gonna get it more pro second amendment gun shows in the month of june what we've learned is you cannot hide behind an eye beam when there's a 50 cal present brothers in arms 50 cal ammo review and more coming in the month of June to the Info War. By the way, in my little stack of news here, the announcement has been made that starting next week, you will be getting notices in your mail, your snail mail, uh, from the federal government that your insurance has been canceled and that you've got to go renegotiate it under their terms. And that's why Forbes, Reuters, all of them have reported uh, that the major insurance commission uh, made up uh, of the lobbyists, uh, of the big foreign-owned, uh, uh, banking-owned uh, insurance companies, that this year the rates are doubling on average. Uh, this is meant to bankrupt uh, the country. But hey, don't worry, yours is only going to double on average, and then government will say what treatment you can get. So you'll pay more and get less because foreign banks run Obama, but he is a Peace Prize winner. Uh, Obamacare, 146% rate hike in California. Isn't that nice? So that's what we have to uh, look forward to. Uh, that's uh, out of Forbes. Uh, but the Marines, though, uh, who are busy growing the opium over in Afghanistan uh, and fighting the Al-Qaeda and Taliban the globalists created, uh, they don't get hot meals uh, anymore. And they're complaining about that. And, and they shouldn't complain about that because Obama needs to have, uh, you know, a million dollar a day uh, vacations and the vice president half million dollar a day vacations. But uh, Marines angry at loss of hot meals in Afghanistan. Well, you, you don't get hot meals ever. Now, they were only getting them, you know, every couple days. You don't get those now. <laughs> the uh, drawdown diet Marines... Uh, steamed by loss of hot meals at Afghanistan base. Now, you enjoy your, G you should you ought to be steamed about the GMO uh, aspartame stuff and all the deadly shots you're given. But hey, 
you'll get back and have health problems soon enough they won't give you aid for. And then just get ready to die and to have mentally retarded and deformed children. I'm sad that's happening, but I need to warn you, they give you a soft kill injection uh, when you're in the military, a whole bunch of stuff, and they, they test stuff on you and everything else because the globalists run America, and their number one enemy is veterans. That's why they say the number one terror threat is veterans. Oh, in fact, they just popped up the article. Let's put up that Infowars.com article. And then it's got a, a link uh, uh, there to the Obama announcement. Obamacare to begin automatically canceling private health insurance policies. Remember how Obama said if you liked your health care plan, you could keep your health care plan? He also said he wouldn't hire any lobbyists or was going to not sign the NDAA and about 100 other lies. Yeah, well, never mind. He didn't really mean it. Uh, start watching your email or your snail mail because in the next uh, few weeks and months, Obamacare uh, is going to start automatically canceling private health care policies. And uh, th there's a uh, federal minimum health care insurance requirement. So now you're made to buy exactly what they say. So it's going to double. But hey, the, that's not the good news. The really good news is, you can pull this up, by 2015, it's set, just a, two years away, to triple. That's some good free health care, isn't it? Obamacare to trigger health insurance cancellation notices. There's Fox News uh, reporting on it, the Associated Press as well. So you, you can keep your health plan. And, of course, there's no death panels, but then after they passed it, you know, Newsweek came out and said, that, yeah, we're going to kill Granny. And then Bill Gates came out and said, yeah, we're going to kill Grandma. What? And coming, you know, Tom Daschle wrote a book saying you're above 65, no eye surgery, no knee surgery. That's, I mean, like, it's, they got you, you can't shake a stick and not hit a... You know, doctor in Cuba, of course, you can't actually get any health care unless you're an inter-party communist. And you, uh, I mean, you know, if you have a knee problem, you get a cane. Or if you're going blind, you get a cane. Kind of like, here's a cane. You want to, I mean, they actually say that. Uh, Dashiell said, get a cane. So, because again, they want all your money through the socialist health care to go to foreign banks. And then they will give the illegal aliens free health care, though. And, and have their babies free and stuff, only to bring in a group to vote to take the guns and then further collapse the country. And again, you can't blame the illegal aliens. Their countries have been ruined by the globalists as well. So they're just fleeing somewhere better. And, you know, uh, of course, it's meant to make the lifeboat go under. The lifeboat could say hold 20 people. It's got about 50 in it right now. It's right at the waterline. People are bailing. And if you bail, you're called a traitor or a terrorist. I'm not exaggerating. We're going to break a report in the next few hours. Um, where the Justice Department actually says I'm, I'm, uh, that uh, husband and wife, uh, husband and wife, uh, you can't use that if you work for the federal government. That's a that's hate speech. Just those words are hate speech. It's hurtful. Uh, and of course, France has already done that, so it's just it's a good thing. Oh, here's the great news: Obama is set to sign the International Gun Control Treaty. Uh, they've announced uh, the UN General Assembly. Uh, has uh, released the uh, vote on that, and Obama has signaled he's set to sign it and implement it outside of Congress. Who needs a stinking Congress? Ask yourselves, what are you doing in this time of great challenge? What are you doing to unlock minds?